When discussing Boolean logic when it relates to programming, it is often useful to step back and look at the foundations of logic. At the root of logic are two fundamental values, true and false. Also, for the purposes of this discussion, we're going to be using variables. Before we can get into the different logical operators, there's one more tool that I want to introduce called a truth table. To use one, we simply enumerate all possible permutations of the variables involved. For a single variable, there will be two permutations. For two variables, there will be four permutations. For three variables, there will be eight, and so on. Then, when we add operators, we can see the effect for all possible input states. Let's introduce our first logical operator called NOT. It is a unary operator, which means that it operates on only one value at a time. All the NOT operator does is switch true to false and vice versa. It inverts the value. So far, so good. The next important logical operator is the AND operator. It is a binary operator, which means that it operates on exactly two values. When both values are true, the AND of them is also true. In all other case, the result of AND is false. Next comes the OR operator, which is another binary operator. It is true when any of the inputs are true. It is therefore only false when both of the inputs are false. The final operator is the exclusive OR operator. It is true only when the inputs are different. Therefore, it is only true when exactly one of the values is true. Now that we have our basic operators, we can start doing some really interesting things. Let's try combining two operators to create a composite. To understand what this means, we need to look at how PHP will group those operators. To see that, we need to list the operators in order of decreasing precedence. For example, in A and B, or A, and has the highest precedence, so this becomes A and B grouped together, or A. Likewise, a or B and A becomes A or grouped together B and A. The NOT operator has the highest precedence, which means any time we see it, it applies to whatever is immediately on its right. Now let's look at A and B or A. To see how this will result, let's create a truth table and populate it step by step. First, we evaluate the innermost logical element. So let's compute A and B. Next, we take that result and compute the OR with A. Very quickly, we can see the exact states that the original composite represented. Notice that the value of the expression A and B or A are identical to the values of A itself. This means that A and B, or A, is logically equivalent to just A. However, there is a very important difference that makes them not identical. PHP uses something known as short circuit logic. Basically, that means that if it knows the result of a composite statement partially through executing it, it stops executing it. That means that false and A will never evaluate A. It also means that true or B will never evaluate B. So when we look back at A and B or A, we can see that B will only be evaluated if A is true. Therefore, reducing A and B or A to its logical equivalent A prevents the execution of B if A is true. Now there's one more thing I want to show you 
called De Morgan's Laws. Basically, De Morgan's Laws are a set of logical equivalencies that are very useful when handling negation. The rules are not A and B equals not A or not B. And likewise, not A or B equals not A and not B. To see why these work, let's create a truth table. First, let's create not A and not B. Next, let's create A and B. Now, we can negate A and B to get not A and B. Finally, we can create not A or not B. See how they have identical values? This is extremely useful when you want to negate complex logic and still have it provide good semantic meaning. To apply that to a real world example, let's look at a case where we want to turn off debugging for a section of code. We could have a line like if not site is dev or site is debug. It takes us a minute to figure out what's going on there because we have a lot of things in the way. Using De Morgan's laws, we can rewrite this in a clearer way. Now, our code is not only clear, but we can also read it from left to right as if the site is not dev and it is not used in debug mode, then using these simple logical analysis tools, we can do some very powerful things. And above all, we can help make our code more readable at the same time.